<laughs> okay. I think we're ready. This October 18th special meeting of the Board of Trustees for the Burleson Independent School District is now called to order. This meeting was duly posted according to legal requirements and a quorum is definitely present. We welcome employees and guests to the meeting. The board encourages public comments during the public comment session of the meeting. Anyone wishing to speak must fill out a card prior to the meeting. Comments are limited to five minutes per person and the public comment section will be limited to no more than 30 minutes. Under board policy, public comment during special meetings shall be limited to items posted on the agenda. The board asks that citizens not, pre not present. The board asks that citizens not present complaints or concerns regarding individual employees or students at this time as the district has a complaint policy that must be followed before the concern is addressed with the board. Ashley, do you receive any cards? No, ma'am. All right. We have one item this morning to consider. Hiring the school safety officer. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, we bring a school safety officer candidate for consideration for the position at the Academy at Nola Dunn. In 2022, we created a plan to identify the best of the best candidates for our school safety officer program, and today is no different. Our SSO supervisor, Kurt Brannon, and SSO Richard Morris have been instrumental in developing the SSO program and leading the recruitment and interview process. Over the past several weeks, they have interviewed and evaluated highly qualified candidates to continue building what Kurt proudly refers to as the A-Team. They were joined by members of the Burleson Police Department and the BISD Safety and Security Team who contributed as part of the interview committee. As you know, our A-Team has over 300 years of combined experience with backgrounds in special weapons and tactics, executive and dignitary protection, police intelligence, military police, high-intensity drug trafficking enforcement, school resource officer programs, school and city emergency operations plans, and more. I'd like to thank Kurt Brannon, Richard Morris, the Burleson Police Department, and all the members of the interview committee for their time and commitment in building this A-Team. It's truly been an honor and a privilege to work with them, and I'm excited to introduce our candidate, Mr. Charles Lewis. Charles Lewis is a master peace officer and dedicated public servant with over 30 years of experience in law enforcement and public service. He began his career in the U.S. Navy, then began a distinguished path in law enforcement, serving with the Fort Worth Police Department, Joshua Police Department, and with the Johnson County Sheriff's Department. His extensive experience encompasses a wide range of roles, including patrol officer, detective, SWAT team member, and school resource officer. His distinguished career is marked by numerous commendations, including rec recognition from the Fort Worth Police Department Awards Foundation for meritorious service, a recipient of the Peace Officer Purple Heart, and a proven commitment to public safety. In addition to his law enforcement experience, he's a skilled martial artist with 12 years of training and experience as a Kung Fu instructor. He's a BHS graduate and Burleson resident. Lewis is also a dedicated volunteer, actively contributing his time and expertise to the Burleson Senior Center, North Point Church, and the City of Burleson's Community Response Team Program, Community Emergency Response Team Program. We believe Charles uh, Lewis's diverse skill set, extensive experience, and strong community ties will make him a valuable asset to BISD's safety and security team. So I'd ask that you guys approve the hiring of Mr. Charles Lewis. All right, I need a motion that the Board of Trustees <clears throat> approve the following individual to be employed on a per professional contract for the 24-25 school year pursuant to state and federal law and board policy, CKC and or CKE as part of the district's emergency and safety operations plan. I further recommend that this individual be authorized to carry a weapon on school property pursuant to board policy, CKC and or CKE in accordance with all applicable laws. I need a motion. Okay, Ryan, second, Dallas. All in favor, raise your hand. Motion carries. All right, congratulations. Well, Charlie, welcome aboard. We're glad you're joining us. We're glad you want to join us. Uh, I know, thank you. You don't trust me? Thank you. I get that a lot. But uh, we're glad you're here. Uh, we're glad that you're going to serve here in the community where you live. Uh, now, 
we're ready for you to get started. And uh, so I think Steve-O is going to get you lined up for today and hopefully get you on the job ASAP. If you're ready to start, we're ready to rock and roll too. I'm excited, happy to be here. Very excited to be at Nola Dime, my first school at the ISD that I attended. Did it look the same when you went there? <laughs> the gym's the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we don't we don't mention that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, one other thing, uh, I would like to say thank you to this board for your willingness to come in on a Friday morning uh, for a special meeting, so that we could get uh, him approved, signed up, and we can get him on the job quicker. So thank you all for being here this morning. Okay. Okay, that brings us to the end of the meeting. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.